All right. So we are back at the compound with Portia, who, so I'm just trying to, I was trying to get myself caught up. So we are pregnant right now with at least baby 29. Um, do we have our latest baby donor on the wall? Uh, yes, Garrison Fallon. So this is our latest baby donor. Um, we have got Seltzer who I think just aged up into a toddler. Yeah, he doesn't have very many skills. So we're working on those. Ryan and Raven both aged up into children. Um, I don't think they've had any school yet. So we can get them ready because it's the weekend. Um, and we have Quincy, who's a high school C student. Um, did we just age Quincy up? I don't remember. She might have been aged up for a little while. Um, she looks very nice. Hello, hello, Cloud. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a good, wonderful, wonderful Monday. Um, we're just trying to remember where we're at with um, our 100 baby challenge. So we were just checking in on everyone. It looks like it's Saturday morning, so. Oh yeah, and these two, we just aged them up and they were super tired, right? So they're both headed to bed. Um, and you need fun, so. Um, let's get some fun things lined up for you. Maybe you can play with a toy um, and then babble to this bear a little bit. Cloud, you're doing good. Just chilling right now. Good. I'm glad to hear. I'm glad that you're able to relax. Um, I watched a little bit more of uh, American Horror Story yesterday. It was really fun. Uh, Omega says, good luck with finding a great job, Alex. Looking to stay where you are. Uh... And hello, Cloud, as well. So yeah, no, that's good. I'm glad everyone's doing well. Um, we will jump into things here. Preteen mod loaded up, which is good. Um, so I think a couple of things what we want to do today is obviously we want to give birth to these babies. I do think we're in our third trimester, so they could be coming at any point. Um, but it would be nice if we could get this finished for Portia. So we have just two more books to publish. We should be able to do that today. I don't think that's gonna be too hard for us. Um, we do have to keep in mind that we allowed um, Indigo to move out, or was it Indiana? It was one of the I, one of the I, um, I triplets. Yeah, that's Indigo. So it was Indiana that we allowed to move out who had previously been helping us. Um, so I'm wondering, what are Quincy's traits? There's a chance that um, we will keep another kid around, um, depending on the, if this seems like a good lifestyle for them. So she's squeamish, squeamish and materialistic so far. It was nice to have an adult around just to help out with the chores and things like that. Indiana Omega, yeah, it was Indiana, so. Um, so that might be Quincy, it might not be. We'll see with Raven and Ryan as well as they age up, how they kind of enjoy living this compound lifestyle. Um, we should probably do something with this space as well. You know, we should use it for something. Um, this also garden is like way bigger. We're not using this half of it at all. We don't really need this side. Um, but maybe what we can do, so we talked about building a greenhouse. Anyways, I'm kind of starting to get to a point where I think we wanna rethink um, the space a little bit. So if anyone has any suggestions or anything that they'd want to see on the compound, let me know for sure. Um, we might be due for uh, a little bit of sort of a remodel, I think. Uh, maybe you can serve some lunch while everyone is sleeping. So anyways, we won't like redo all the cabins or anything like that. And we did redecorate this main cabin, which I think works a lot better now that we have this TV lounge area and a couple of chess tables and things. Um, we can maybe put more activities down. But I do think that the outdoor space we could use a little better. Um, we could definitely have more going on out here if we wanted. Uh, maybe you can come do some harvesting as well. We'll get her working on her garden skill anyways. Um, and maybe instead of eating bread, Portia, you could cook some healthy food because Portia gets upset if she doesn't uh, eat a healthy meal. So um, maybe some low fat chili she could do. 
So yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Now that we have the toddler cabin as well, we never really use this area. So I don't know, maybe we also want to think about reusing that portion of the house. I do have a couple of new toddler toys in here. So we've got this um, car thing. I don't really know. So we can try playing with that. And I think I put outside uh, this food truck that toddlers can play with as well. So we can try both of those with Qu Quincy today. Uh, Omega, you want to keep the cabins though? Yes, I do like the cabins, even though uh, like sometimes annoying things happen, like where Portia just came to get food out of this fridge to cook in her kitchen. Um, so yeah, there's, there's sometimes little obnoxious things like that that happen for sure that are not ideal. But um, overall, I like the idea of the cabins and I do want to keep them for at least a little bit longer. Uh, let's maybe take, off, take down these decorations though. Um, oh, we can't do that on, Quint on Seltzer. So, um, and then what are we? P-Q-R-S-T. So our nest names are T. So if people want to start thinking about T names, um, we don't know how many babies we'll be having. We don't know um the sex of the babies uh so if you want to think about some names i can only think about tristan that's a good name for a boy or a girl um tristan it's a nice name so that's the only one that i have off the top of my head but if you have some fun tea names you want us to use keep them in mind for when we go to the hospital which should be soon i think it will be today so because I do think she was in third trimester for a while last time. Oh, you've got dry skin. Um, let's uh, apply lotion. Oh, her fun is so bad. Um, maybe she can come over here and dream big. So this will just help her to get her fitness skill up. If we need to get A skill to level four so she can get an A. So I will line a little bit of that up for her. Um, and then she can maybe go to sleep for a little bit. So we will put that away for later. Um, Omega, you have an idea that uh, I may want to do eventually and you'll tell me about later. Yeah, definitely, let me know. I would be interested to hear. Uh, Festival of Snow. Okay, that's nice. Oh yeah, so she's working. I do think she just aged up into a team last time as well. Once she's done with that, she can go sleep for a little bit. Um, okay, I think I'm going to wake you up just to work on some of your needs. Because you're pretty hungry. Um, and we'll do the same with you, actually. You can... Use the bathroom. And then come eat something and maybe watch, uh, watch cooking channel. So, I don't know, somebody passed away and Seltzer is really sad. Brown Rooster is getting old. Quincy's at fitness level four already, which is great. So she can go rest for a little bit. That got her fun up as well, which is nice. Um, Alex, depending on the opportunity or how lucrative it is, you could move, but it depends on the situation. But for the most part, um, it'll be down in Tampa. Oh, nice. I don't know. I was, when I was looking at jobs, I had to look at jobs Christmas last year because my contract was ending and it wasn't going to be renewed um, and I was seriously considering moving for new opportunities um, and also just for a little bit of a change of scenery I would have been open to to it for the right position so although I do think it would be complicated who's Nina Tudor Nina Tudor. Who is that? Do we know them? Did Henry Tudor marry somebody and this is his wife calling us? Yeah, so she's married to Henry Tudor. Um, 
But is Nina one of her kids? Because Henry Tudor is Quincy's dad. Uh, sorry, I'm having the sneezes really bad lately. I don't know if it's allergies or something. I don't really get allergies. Yeah, Nina is our daughter. That's so strange. So Nina is one of our kids and she married Henry, who is the father to another one of our kids. So that's weird. But I guess that's what starts happening when we've, <laughs> our poor kids, they're gonna have a hard time finding potential spouses that we haven't gotten used to get pregnant. <laughs> I guess that's just the reality of, um, why is he stomping? He's not angry at all. That's just the reality of our 100 baby lifestyle. So, he's playing with this new car, car toys, and I just wasn't sure what scale it was. So, this one is the imagination scale. Oh, that's cute. You can hear little honking noises. Um, kids can't play with it, it doesn't look like. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. But I think kids can play with this one, yeah. So this one is kind of cool because toddlers, I think, play on it um, and kids can interact with it. So if we get Seltzer out here in the rain, <laughs> if we get him out here and playing with the food truck, I think the kids can come and order play food from him is how this works. And adults too. Oh no, this means that somebody died, I think. Danielle Bustos. Danielle, oh, that was one of our kids too. Danielle and Darling were twins. Now everyone's gonna be sad all the time because we're getting to that point where all of our first kids will start dying. Okay, so he's playing. We're gonna get uh, Portia to come order food from him. Portia, are you gonna come? Let's have her order a donut. Uh, what's he doing? No, 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 come back and play. I want to try this. I want to see how it works when the adult interacts with it. And Portia, come over here. Come order a donut. Or order a hamburger maybe if you don't want a donut. Uh, maybe Yes, maybe you can come order a donut. I don't know if um, the interactive feature is working so well with this, uh, <laughs> but it's a cool concept. Uh, can you do your homework, please? We can give this iPad to Seltzer. Um, and maybe you can do homework. Uh, you already have two T-girl names, Omega, one you really love. Well, hopefully we'll have a girl and we can use one. Okay, so I don't know how it works when we actually order the food. It doesn't seem to be working. Uh, let's do emotional control, I think. So this is also the imagination skill. Now he has all his imagination, so... We're not going to be doing that anymore. Why don't you come inside, Seltzer, away from the rain? Um, and are you doing your homework like I asked, please? She, oh no, I asked her, never mind. So he can come inside and we'll have him eat something, I guess, first of all. So uh, let's put this in here. He can come grab a serving of that and then maybe you can play a little bit of sim shape before we put you to bed. Portia, you just sitting there? Um, did we finish writing a book for Seltzer? I know we had started one. 
Uh, right. Resume writing. Yes, we did. Do we have any books that we can publish right now? Uh, no. Okay, so maybe we can have uh, Portia work on a script for the moment. Like a TV script. Just while we wait for this baby to be born. Um, just to get her one step closer to uh, completing the writer's aspiration. So we will do a screenplay. Uh, why are you sad? Um, maybe you should eat something first. So these two are cute. They're doing their homework in here together. Um, let's write it. Uh, what should we write a screenplay about? Um, uh, what, what is like young adult to adult? What age? 40 things I learned. Or no, 30 things I learned in my 30s. I think Portia is maybe a little bit older. Like maybe she's in her 40s now. Get rid of that. Okay. So they're both doing their homework. You're eating. Oh, we could really put you on the potty actually, even before you eat that. Um, Maybe, can you put that chili down and can you potty train him? That would be good. Uh, potty train seltzer. It would just be good to get, um, get that potty training in while his bladder is so low, his bladder need. Also love that it they called it bladder. I guess what else were they gonna call it? They couldn't call it like pee. <laughs> Both of your Sims Omega are five star celebrities now. That wasn't even your goal and it's the first time ever having Celeb Sims. Wow! We should definitely take notes from you for our um, legacy challenge because we're almost at four stars but I feel like it's taken, taken us a while to get there. So you are done your homework. Um, do we have any extra credit? Probably not. No. So you're good for school. Um, and it will be the same for you once you're done that. So those two can do whatever they want. Um, we'll work on some of their skills tomorrow maybe. Um, and Seltzer, once you're done that, you can eat your Franken beans. Um, maybe Quincy, you can clean these. Yeah, we're really close with this. Um, we don't have fame on for Portia. I actually, you know, wait. So um, I thought I had never gotten a five-star celebrity before in The Sims 4, but I actually have. My sim self is a five-star celebrity, but um, that was just from writing, just from being an author. Um, she managed to get that. I didn't focus on trying to become a celebrity either. Um, it just happened from from writing but for Portia I have it in the game now where you have to opt into fame and it's uh, it, I don't have her opt into it so she can't build fame even though she's been writing all these books unexpected side effect of having them constantly write paint and program <laughs> that's true because painting also every time you sell a painting you gain some fame and programming too that's interesting Maybe Nyx needs to have a little side hustle other than her acting career because acting is just not making her famous enough, ironically. If you're more famous, do you think that you're um, more likely to get a Sim Accolade Award? Because we're still really <laughs> struggling with getting that too. I really want her to get an award. It's not been easy. I'm going to look if there's anything else we can do to increase her odds of having a performance that will get her an award. Uh, 
Oh, right, she's squeamish, so she's gonna hate this, and she's gonna, she's not gonna be impressed having to clean these potties. I completely forgot. That's from squeamish, isn't it? Ew, gross, from emptying trap. No idea about the award, Omega. Yeah, I don't know either. Where are you going to eat this? Can you just, like, stop? Come, like, sit on this chair. Seltzer, am I gonna have to lock you in the toddler cabin? I haven't had to lock this door for a long time, but Seltzer, <laughs> I might have to for him. He's always trying to go elsewhere to eat his food. He can't just like eat it, eat it in the toddler cabin like everyone else. All right, once you're in that chair, just eat your food. Don't go anywhere else. I don't want you taken by the social worker. Yeah, because he was pretty close to, like, being taken away there, I think. Um, then you can go to sleep. Um, these two are okay. You're going to go play video games. Um, you probably need to go pee and then go to sleep. Which one is... Where do we have everyone sleeping? Um, I think these two are in the yellow cabin. Yeah, Ryan, Raven, um... Can we hire a repair service? Uh, you must be in this blue one somewhere. Yeah, so we'll put Quincy to bed after, or no. You need to pee and then we'll put you to bed. Um, squeamish is not a good trait for a hundred baby mama. Yeah, no, that's true, Omega. <laughs> oh, you gag changing diapers? Oh. Yeah, no, that might, I was saying, you know, maybe Quincy is the one that can take over for Indiana. Uh, but so far, that might not be the best idea. <laughs> she really struggled with cleaning those potties, and those potties always need cleaning. We only have one toddler right now. When we have, like, four, um, yeah, it's not a good situation, the potty situation. Oh, nice. He... School's out for summer. No, we are heading back to school. How do I make sure that they're going to go to school? Mm. Maybe it's on the computer. Um, unless, however, her parents send her back early. Um, and summer break for all the kids. <laughs> Sorry, kids. You don't get summer break. We are doing summer school in this house. school really if we were to go with sort of more commune vibes I feel like we should homeschool them and try to get their A's homeschooled um, and I do think that this mod that I have the education overhaul might give the option for us to do that so maybe it's something we can think about um, what are you doing oh you're talking to this giraffe that's good uh, no 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 don't do that um, you can probably it's midnight so you should probably be in bed go to sleep uh, you can also go to sleep you're headed to bed um, Portia's taking a bath she's gonna eat get all the kids back in school I'm surprised we haven't had these babies honestly or I don't know if it's multiple babies it could just be one I'm hoping it's for more than one because we only have four kids in the house right now but we'll see um, you didn't know you could do that, skip summer break. Yes, so as part of the mod, um, I knew that there was an option. I didn't know how to do it, but I assumed it was on the computer. Um, so you can re-enroll the kids into school. Yes, you can homeschool with the education mod. Yeah, so that might be something we could try for fun. Oh, <laughs> Alright. Eat your chili, get the kids back in school, and then we will head to bed. Don't clean that up. I will do it for you. There we go. I'm wondering if I should reduce the amount of kitchens so that they stop like trying to go over here. This could be like just a games area. Um, and maybe there's just a fridge or 
maybe there's just one of these that we put food in. Um, there's like no fridge or stove or anything in this part. Uh, so that they stop like traveling all over the property to clean their dishes and stuff like that. Wow, it's taking her a little while to get them back in school. <laughs> she She's like writing a whole essay to justify why they won't be taking summer break. She's like, I know that it's good to let kids play, but I'm focused on their futures. I want my kids in school at all times. Yeah, good idea. I feel like this um, we might have to go to bed because we're super low energy uh, yeah you we're gonna have to figure that out tomorrow this isn't working we're gonna go to bed Oh, and we're in labor. Okay, Portia, time to go to the hospital. Um, I'm going to do a prediction. Um, let's do, will we have multiples? Just for funsies. All right, so if you want, you can go and predict if you think we will have multiples or not. Um, let's clean out spoiled food and then head to the hospital. Oh, okay, you can just leave it there, that's fine. <laughs> um, page down, let us just get rid of that for you, Portia. Um, and head to the hospital to have this baby or babies. Do you have ley line on? I do have ley line on. So, and she does have the fertility trait. So, I mean, there's a pretty good chance, especially with the size of our household, that these will be multiples. All right, let's go to the hospital with her. We won't take anyone with us. Uh... <laughs> so, I do think by predicting, um, you can get some channel points, some bonus channel points out of that. Um, okay, so here we are. Let's see, who's gonna be our doctor today? Emily was working here last time. Um, has Emily died? Is she, she didn't even check in. <laughs> she's just, she totally bypassed the check-in deck. She's just headed straight to the operating table. She's like, don't worry doc, I know what to do. She's like, room one or two? <laughs> two, okay, got it. Uh, yeah, I think Emily, past maybe one of these ghosts is Emily though interesting that this entire staff is run by ghosts she's been there enough times to know the game exactly Alex <laughs> she is a seasoned veteran at the hospital she knows exactly what to do I wish that this animation wasn't broken for the hospitals it's kind of fun to watch it's the most interesting part about going to have a baby at the hospital. All right, and so we have a baby boy, so we for sure have one, which is good. Um, what should we name them? We need a T name. I'm trying to think. I know Tristan is one that I can think of. Tucker, oh, that's cute. I like that name, Tucker. Tucker is good. Yeah, that's a really cute name. I wouldn't have thought of that one. Little Tucker. All right. 
So we're gonna go with that and then we are gonna see if we're having multiples. And we are, it's another boy, wow. So we need another T name. Your god nephew's name. Aw, oh, Alex, that's so sweet. Um, so Trevor. Oh, that's a good name. I've known a few Trevors in my life. I've always liked the Trevors that I've met. I've never met a Trevor I haven't liked. All right, so we've got Tucker and Trevor, and it looks like that's it. So... Oh, sorry, I don't know, why is it? Oh, never mind. It's just saying that, oh, Maggie, you get channel points to me uh, because you guessed correctly. So here are two babies. We have this one is Trevor and this one is Tucker. So let me write that down so that we remember and our baby count, that means we're at 30 now, which is really great. Um, 30. So we have Tucker and Trevor. Male. So we've had a lot of boys. The last four kids have been boys. Which is kind of interesting because I think before that we had like four girls in a row. Hey, Nikki, how's it going? Long time no see. How are you doing? I think last time you were starting, you started your story about your, um, your statue, your, what was it? Body, not statue, but like molded body clay thing. <laughs> and we did, I don't think we heard the end of it. So, all right. So we've got our two new babies here. Um, so let's also make sure that we um rename so it's 29 plus 30. um and how how big is our family one two three four five six seven so we still have room for one more so we can definitely get pregnant again um and but i don't know if i necessarily have anyone lined up this time um we've got some romance with a few sims I think that we have the most with Legato Musique, who I know is a Jude Sim Sims, but we were having problems with him because I think he's gone married since we got that little bit of romance with him. So, um, so I think that's uh, why. Oh no, he just pooped in his diaper. Let's go change his diaper. Instead of playing video games, let's take care of our children. Um,. Yeah, you didn't get to finish. Where were you in the statue story? I remember that you were had mentioned that folks were coming and chatting with you while you were in like the bathtub where you were sitting while it molded for like half an hour or something. You would sit there for a long time, I remember. Um, let's get you skilling. Uh, maybe come babble a little bit with this bear. Or you know what, if you wanna stay in the house, that's okay, you can do that. Um, you can come babble to this giraffe instead. Um, and then play a little bit uh, Sin Shape. I think that would be good. Um, how are you doing skill-wise? You're okay. Um, you do need to shower, so maybe you can do that. And you're, you've got a lot of skills. Um, Portia, can you come do that, please? Did you even change Seltzer's diaper? I don't think she did. Ah, uh, yeah, so then you had to sit in there for like 30 minutes and then finally you're able to get out when it was done molded. <laughs> How did they get you out, by the way? That's another question I have. Um, why don't you... Can you like hang out with your siblings so that your social bar is not so low maybe? Um, 
You're eating, which is good. You need to do your homework as well. So once you're done eating, we should probably make sure that you get that done. Um, sell some of these flowers. Um, put these kids' homework in here. Um, they literally had to pull you out, really? <laughs> that sounds like such an ordeal. Quincy has chosen what? Quincy has chosen not to attend her local public school and has started an application for a more rigorous education. Is that what she was doing when she was on the computer? Was she applying to a new school? We didn't um we didn't really okay that, but um speaking of, let's try again to make sure our kids go to school this summer. Um, and summer break for Raven. We'll put these in here. So they just like grab both your hands and dragged you out. Is that what happened, Nike? <laughs> no, you were there for naked for two hours because they have to pick some parts on part on the mold sometimes oh my gosh that is good for you for sitting through that that's impressive um yeah so i think that's what quincy was doing she was uh applying to schools i also don't know if this online thing is working is there a way that i can do it directly on the sim Uh, turn into a skeleton. <laughs> I don't want to know what that looks like. Uh, Portia, you're going to have to come check on this baby. Um, they grabbed your hands and your legs and they pulled you out. Oh my gosh. I really want to know what this looked like. Um, I feel like we haven't successfully re-enrolled our kids in school. He's always mad. Overthinking and he's sad. He wants to send a sad text. You can send a sad text. Maybe find like one of your siblings. Here. Send a sad text to Patricia. Um, she's in a great mood though. She's just chatting with her little brother, which is good. You'll both get attention that way. Um, who's crying? Tucker, is that? Yeah, Tucker is crying. Um, we need to change his diaper. And then we will bounce. Rock. Um, Oh yeah, and you forgot to tell us about the material or whatever it was freezing. Oh yeah, wasn't that one of our concerns um, about whether or not it would be cold? I'm pretty sure that's something we talked about. <laughs> yeah, these two are chatting. Good, I'm glad they're socializing with each other so that they don't have constantly low socials. It makes no sense in a family this big that they get lonely. Um, I think you are going to go eat something and then head to bed. You're going to need a little bit of a sleep. Maybe the Sim has to use the computer to enroll or unenroll themselves. Uh, oh, try for a baby. Whoa, that's so weird. She just called Henry's <laughs> Henry's other daughter. She called her sister, who's also Henry's kid, to be like, hey, should I have a baby with your dad? <laughs> well, that was kind of weird. I just realized that after I had already told them to try for baby. Probably if I was her, I would have said, no, don't do that. That's weird. Um, but I didn't. I told them to go for it. Um, you can get something to eat. It it was literally the biggest concern. Yeah, it was our biggest concern that the clay would be small when you climbed into that tub. 
You are correct. We were very worried about that. Um, go to graduation ceremony. What? Uh, you can um, do your homework. I really want to make sure that these kids are going to school tomorrow. Can I do something here to end summer vacation? No, it's a part of the mod. Uh, let me just Google really quick. Education overhaul Sims 4. Uh, I'm just gonna take a quick look at the tumbler. Um, the clay would be small. It would be cold and it would make everything small. Yeah, <laughs> that was our biggest concern when we were talking about that, how that would turn out. Um, so this is the education career, preschool, education enrollment, um, boarding school, School projects, school day changes, detention, field trips, school hours, snow days, summer break. Sims enrolled in all schools will now no longer be required to attend school during the summer. They will be on break for the entire summer and will automatically return to school on the next weekday of fall. Of course, parents can elect to send their kids back at any time via the school menu on the phone or computer. Okay, so I have a feeling it's not working on the phone. On the computer let's try it um, on our phone maybe it's because I have a this is a CC computer that could probably be what the issue is um, and summer break and summer break for Ryan and summer break for Quincy so hopefully that doesn't take forever Um, on vacation, on vacation, they're still all on vacation. Uh, literally the moment you climbed in, you thought of our combo. That's so funny. <laughs> it was one of our big concerns. Okay, so I think she successfully ended summer break for everyone. Yes, it's no longer an option. So I think we're good. So that means that we, so good to know, if you have a CC computer, I don't think it works with this mod, so you wanna, you can use your phone though. Um, and let's write our book for Tucker. Um, Tucker's Truck Stop. This is a children's book about our 29th child Tucker uh, perfect so she will work on that everyone should be back at school tomorrow I hope I hope that worked um, okay uh, and what are you doing um, you need to go to bed, my child, please. That would be swell. Yeah, Seltzer doesn't like staying in the toddler cabin. Maybe because he's an only toddler, which is rare that we just have one staying in there. So I can kind of get it. He's not around all his other siblings. He wants to be a part of the group, be a part of the fam. So I guess I understand why he's doing that. You're off to bed, which is perfect. Um, so yeah. After you finally pulled out, were finally pulled out of the tub, you were brought into this other room where they have this lady who had you stand there for 30 minutes to an hour while she sculpted the little details on the mole. Really? Are you serious? That... <laughs> so it's more than just laying in some clay. It's a whole ordeal for sure. Hey, Quincy, it's Petunia. Do you want to... No. That's so funny. So she was like refining it, I guess, but <laughs> that is very funny. Okay, so these two are chatting. Why don't you get something to eat while you two are talking? He's headed to bed, which is good. Um, I might wake him up to put him on the potty, I think. 
he for some reason also only has one movement skill even who though he's the most active toddler we've ever had uh let's raise her responsibility uh omega you really want to see this completed statue me too it actually sounds like it's gonna be a very high quality piece of art for you nike <laughs> Like, this is the real deal. This is not like, you know, a art club meeting for in brownies. This is like legit, <laughs> a legit sculpture that you can probably keep forever. Can you not harvest yet? Oh. Why don't you come talk to a plant for a little bit? Because your social really needs to go up as well. Oh, and one of our babies needs us, so let's go. Actually, why don't we get Quincy to come check on you? So Trevor, we'll bottle feed, mounts. Full ordeal, so you were just standing there for quite a while. You must have, this sounds like it was exhausting. Uh, where did that bowl go? I think I lost it. There we go. All right, so Quincy's done her homework. I really hope that this changes so that they are going to school tomorrow. Yes. Go on admissions tour and interview. Um, sign up for parent-teacher conference. Uh. Okay, so I think that's because she did an application when we weren't paying attention to a fancier school. Yeah, and you had to stand still. Oh, no. <laughs> that is definitely a whole ordeal. Seriously, sounds like a real piece of art. It really does. <laughs> I do want to see a photo of this at some point. Um, why don't you watch Dream Home Decorator Network to get a little bit of mechanical skill? Uh, once you're done, Portia, you're going to be pretty hungry. So you can get some leftovers. Uh, you're talking to the bear. That's fine. You're asleep. Oh, you used your diaper. Whatever. That's okay. I don't care. <laughs> um, you're getting social skill from that, actually, which is pretty good. No, 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 don't go wrecking. I don't have patience for that today. Come talk to this thing more. Get your social skill up. Uh, what are you doing? You're asleep. You're going to need to take a bath, which you're about to do. That's good. Yeah, these kids can really take care of themselves. You're all set. We just have to stay on top of your homework and you'll get an A, so long as you're going to school on Monday. Um, these kids actually could technically, actually maybe instead of doing all this, why don't you come start working on one of these projects? Um, start working carefully. Oh, look at his uh, emote, uh, not emotes. Oh, what are these? His emotions or his memories. He made a green friend from talking to a plant. That's your jam because he liked the music that's playing. Um, he had a delicious dish and he's remembering the good days as a toddler. That's really cute. Uh, and you're sad. Um, instead of, what are you about to do? Coo at. Instead of doing that, uh, maybe you can go to the toilet. Who's crying? Uh, let's get you up here doing the same thing. Um, and then you can come back and start building handiness skill again. Watch channel, dream home decorator. Portia, once you're done that, you can come publish your two books. Um, so we will sell to the publisher 30 things you learned in your 30s and Tucker's Truck Shop. Both of which are bestsellers, which is great. 
Yeah, definitely we'll have to drop a photo at some point. Yes, I definitely want to see a photo. <laughs> Honestly, after everything you've been through, I'm actually really excited about it. Complete three bestsellers. Oh, we just wrote two bestsellers. I thought that was the end of the aspiration. Oh, but we can now go into the rewards store and get... Which one did we want? We wanted Never Wary. So I think I'm going to get that. Nice. <laughs> so she will no longer need sleep. Uh, which I think is great. This is really going to help us. It's almost like having two of Portia. Um, how are you feeling? You're scared because of the thunderstorm. You're a people person. Uh, remembering the good days as a toddler. You're doing okay. Can you... You never took your bath, though. So why don't you come over here and take a bath? Um, you need to come... Take a break and use the toilet. Um, and then you can continue working on that. And your sister can come help you. Because even though it's not her project, they do uh, all build skills from that. And maybe you can come work on it as well. So, and the skills help them to, uh, to make better grades. So, Portia, why don't you come... Maybe just do finish this painting. I just want her to be close to the babies in case they need her. Dollar Tree, Greek gold statue. It sounds like more than a Dollar Tree. <laughs> oh, but that is true. With the cold clay, it will definitely be more Greek-like in appearance based on our last discussion. So... That's kind of cool. Uh, what are you doing? I thought that you were gonna come over here and help with the project. If you could do that, that would be great. I don't know, they're all so sad because, and I don't know what to do because that's just kind of like the way things are at right now. A lot of their siblings are way older than them and are, are elders and are going to begin passing, so. Actually, you have other needs to take care of. Um, you need to eat something. Uh, oh, maybe you can cook something. Um, cook. Uh, is there like a salad you can make? You can't make a garden salad. Uh, make fruit salad. Um, use the toilet. I want you to help him with his project. You're gonna take a bath. Um, and then all these kids need to go to bed. I guess yeah, I guess when you look at it that way, but you swear the lady did you dirty on that part. <laughs> oh no, what do you mean? When she was like hand sculpting and refining it. Oh my gosh, from your knees to your neck. Yeah, I think if I remember, that is what you said. It was from your knees to your neck, but um, I might not fully remember. So. Okay, so she's doing that. Once you're done with all of that, you can finally go to sleep. Um, and these two, once they're done with that project, can also go to sleep. So you're in this bed, and you are in this bed. Um, Portia, what are you doing? Did you finish that painting? Oh, you did. Okay. Why don't you sell and just, we'll just get her to her max energy. Yeah, knees to the neck. You didn't want to do the face because you didn't want to suffocate. Oh, that's true. Yeah, how would they even do that, I guess? You just have to put your face in that clay for a really long time. They wouldn't be able to let you keep it in there. You'd probably have to let it, like, put it in for a second and then let it dry. Straws in your nose. Oh, my gosh. Is that how they do it? They poke straws in your nose? 
Source done it. You've done it, Alex? Oh my gosh, really? I want to see a photo of that too. Uh-oh. Are they not getting along? Offensive conversation? What are they talking about? They're just chatting. He does not like his sister. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong, but these two are not getting along right now. Um, when your then girlfriend is in art school and wants to make a mask. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. That's cool. Do you still have the mask or no? He just finished his school project, which is great. Now, can you two go to bed, please? Yeah, good. All right. Let's make sure that these two go to bed. She's like feeling pretty great, I would say. Um, but he is not feeling great at all. Aggravating conversation. <laughs> um, she kept it. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, Nike, it must be uncomfortable. And Alex, it wasn't uncomfortable. Oh, interesting. Omega, no way you could do that. Uh, Alex, just close your eyes and breathe through your nose. Nikki, really? Yeah, true. I would imagine it would be very uncomfortable. I think the only somewhat similar experience I have is I have like a mouth guard, a night guard, and um, and I had to like put my mouth in some kind of weird, I don't know, if it wasn't clay, but it was something weird that like suctioned when you pulled it out, and that was kind of weird. Um, although I guess it wasn't uncomfortable. It was just a strange feeling when they pulled it off. But I didn't love it. <laughs> um, damn, you don't think you could do that, Nike. Alex, you have pretty good self-control. Yeah, no. I mean, if you could do it, good for you. Oh, we've got a baby who needs us. Which one is it? It is Trevor. So let's do our super efficient baby care. Um, we can head back to sleep just to get her up to 100% energy. Okay, so I really hope that everyone looks like my statue's next. Oh, I don't, I don't want a statue of myself. What would I do with it? I don't know what I would do. <laughs> Maybe like a, like a mold of just like a little part of my body, like my hand or something specific. <laughs> I can do that. Oh, we can, wait, 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 no, 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 don't do that. Let's do our super efficient baby care again. Um, and then why don't you come down now that you've checked on both the babies and, uh, and write our next book. Um, write genre book, there it is. Sorry, I couldn't find it there for a while. Um, for Trevor. Uh, Alex, one time you were getting oral surgery and the surgeon was like, can you make sure he's alive? He hasn't moved since this began. Um, and you just gave a thumbs up. Oh my gosh. Uh, Nike, yeah, you don't even know what you're going to do with yours. It was more for the experience. Oh, true. I mean, honestly, if you did it for the experience, I guess I could probably suck it up and do it for the experience as well. But I just don't know what I would do with a with a statue of my own torso. <laughs> this is a children's book about our 30th child, Trevor. Um, Trevor's Toad. There we go. Hopefully it's a bestseller because we just um, knocked out three, I think, in a row. Um, on vacation. She shouldn't be on vacation. No, 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 no. This is wrong. We need our kids to go to school. Um, Alex. 
Yeah, you take your mind to a different place and you don't even think about it. Oh, so you can kind of like dissociate when you're doing it and not really focus on what's actually happening. Why are you awake? Ugh. Cause there's there's no monster though. We have these night lights. There shouldn't be any monsters. Can you nap then? That's kind of annoying. Um, and Ryan just yeeted himself out of the house. <laughs> He's not even in his cabin anymore. Um, but I thought these night lights were supposed to keep the uh, the monsters away. But I guess if they're not going to. We will get ready for school instead. Brush teeth. Um, maybe you can clean this countertop and get some breakfast. Um, you don't e exactly know what to do with yours. Maybe just throw it in the garbage somewhere. Oh no, don't throw it out. Um, maybe like you can give it to your grandma. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you can do. Uh, Portia, maybe just take a little break from that. Let's come check on Seltzer. He needs a bath. Um, and then maybe we can also do a potty with him. Um, like MRIs, those are fun. <laughs> I do not like MRIs. I am not a fan of those at all. I've had to have a few of them. Um, and I do not enjoy. Uh, it's the thunderstorm that's making them scared. Oh, it's not the monster. The thunderstorm is waking them up. Interesting. Uh, Omega. Alex, uh, you can do that when you get tattoos, but not really in other situations, it seems. <laughs> Nanky, oh man, my grandma. <laughs> Does your grandma not appreciate good, great art? <laughs> Her genes are, gave you the body you have today. <laughs> That's something she should be able to appreciate. Oh, it's rebate day. Okay, maybe we should buy something super expensive. Hopefully he doesn't pee while he's in the bath. Interesting that his hair went black in the bathtub, but anyways. Uh, Alex, your first MRI, the lady was like, you don't need earphones or anything. And you were like, no, this is your fantasy. The world goes. <laughs> to trash and the MRI saves your life you're ready to roll <laughs> that's funny they offered you earphones interesting or I think I got like I just got noise blockers I didn't get like um, like headphones so I could he listen to anything I just got noise cancelling um, because it's really loud in there Yeah, so you don't hear the MRI doing its thing. Yeah, yeah, I did have those. Yeah, I thought when you said earphones, it was like to listen to music or something. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. You can like put your podcast on or something. Um, you can, why don't you clean out the spoiled food? Uh, and yeah, he's all good with his homework. Okay, perfect. Um, you actually could wake up. Um, maybe before you do that, come use the toilet and brush your teeth. Um, and then you can come get something to eat. Uh, Nike, yeah, I guess you're right. Hopefully the jeans are appreciated and the sculptor didn't do you dirty. <laughs> Yes, hopefully. When Do you have the final product or do you have to wait to receive it? Oh my gosh, Ryan is always stomping. He's always just stomping around. Unpleasant surroundings. I hate it here. Ryan hates when things are messy or smelly from being a judger. Oh, maybe it's the judger trait that makes them stomp. That would make sense because we've had a few sims like that that just stomp around for no apparent reason. Uh, you can eat after Portia. You can come over here and maybe get something to eat. Um, and then keep working on your book. Uh, Alex, you were thinking it was your first adventure would be after you went back to your house and grabbed your stuff. 
You were thinking what your first adventure would be after you went back to your house and grabbed your stuff. Uh, what do you mean grabbed your stuff? Your first adventure. Um, Trevor's Toad, we're writing right now. Your first adventure after you went back to... Oh, you mean after your MRI, you were wondering? Oh, you know, after the world went to trash and I needed my gear and bug out bag. <laughs> oh, so you were like thinking from like as a prepper, what did you need to survive? I see, I see, I see. That's funny. Um, Portia, maybe you can cook some food because we're getting low. Um, can you make some of your healthy food that you like maybe? Um, yeah, let's do whole wheat grilled cheese. Uh, Omega, you think your last one they offered you earphones with music. Oh, that's cool. I definitely didn't get offered that. Um, but I do think it could possibly help. Did you brush your teeth? Um, uh, why don't you do a sad painting to help you feel better? You're eating. Why don't you come watch TV while you eat? Um... You have it, Nike. You already have it. Oh, nice. Uh, is it painted? Do they do any painting on it? Or are you able to paint it if you want to? Uh, and yeah, Alex, you after the world went to trash and you needed your gear and bug out bag. That's what you're thinking about in the MRI. That's funny. It kept you uh, at peace. Uh, why don't you play some Sim Shape? All right, so, oh, they're not at school, are they? Oh, but they can. Go to school. Um, go to school, please. And you can also go to school. She's so sad. Um, go to school. And so now it's just Portia and Quincy. Oh, and these twins, Tucker and Trevor, I think I just saw that we can... Yeah, we can age these two up. So maybe we'll do that before we start writing our next book. Uh, calling you a prepper is a bit much, but you are prepared for things to kick off. Okay, yeah, so not, not quite a prepper, but just in general. You were just fantasizing about it, which makes sense. Uh, take notes. Take notes. Or not fantasizing, but imagining it. Uh, Nikki, you could, but, uh, you're white and the clay was white. <laughs> what if you, like, used it to test out tattoos? Potential tattoos that you wanted? You paint them on your, on your statue first? Um, once you're done with that, one of your babies needs you. Super efficient baby care, and then maybe you can age up. So we're gonna get two new toddlers. Uh, you're doing good. We're just working on the thinking scale. We've still got a little ways to go with potty. Surprisingly, our movement is like not progressing despite the fact that he moves everywhere. Maybe he has like a trait or something that keeps him from improving his movement skill. Oh, look at this. This is interesting. So Seltzer inherited the fertile trait, which is kind of funny to see um, in a toddler. <laughs> Uh, but that's interesting. Um, Nikki, that's a good idea. Use one of the, use one of the statues. Use one of the statue has been found. <laughs> there you go. I'm glad I was able to help you with that. Sorry, my nose, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm still like feeling congested or something like allergy style congested though. So Trevor's aging up and he got inquisitive, which is good. We like that. Um, and then we are going to have to age up Tucker next. So let's make sure Portia does that. Um, oh, he's in a great mood, which is lovely. Um, we will teleport him here. Uh, 
I like his little sweater. Um, and Tucker got Charmer, which is nice. I do think we seem to get, like, a lot of inquisitive toddlers. It seems to be a very common trait um, for us. Why don't you come and play with cars? Um, and let us get... <laughs> you can answer. Um, it's good to hear your voice, Portia, a.k.a. Mom. I wanted to ask you if I should get to know Travis, um, Solano a little better. They seem like good company. Yes, go for it. Uh, let's teleport you down here. Or you'll give it to your grandma, my other recommendation, but that would probably be embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, you never know. <laughs> it would it would be a pretty funny prank actually if you gave that to your grandma and just to see how she would react. Uh, Portia, why don't you take a bath and finish writing this book would be great. Uh, or pay bills and then finish writing the book. Resume writing Trevor's Toad. There we go. So now we've got three toddlers. Which is my limit for toddlers. I don't like having more than three. These two are pretty cute, though. Um, I kind of am surprised that... Did they both get Portia's exact skin tone? I feel like... Well, anyways. Yeah, you wonder the reaction. <laughs> I like how you can hear, like, the little honking on this car thing. I think that's kind of fun. Uh, you've had enough bathing, I think. Get on with your day, Portia. Hi, sweetie. Hello. Uh, you're at level two. Wow, that was fast. Hi, cutie. You're so cute. We've got, like, I can't get over how lucrative uh, writing has been for us. Maybe you can... Oh, look, their dad is here. Oh, this is Seltzer's dad. I kind of wonder if we should... Seltzer, why don't you stop reading and come say hi to your dad? Um, come talk to your daddy. Uh, birthday present. Yeah, exactly. That would be really funny. Um, and he, where are you going? You can keep playing with cars. They're skilling up super fast. All right. Yeah, come talk to your dad. So cute. Do you see the resemblance now? They do look a lot alike. Uh, what else can we do? Um, can he help us maybe learn basic needs? Nike, you're going to go make some food. Uh, I hope you make yourself something delicious. Uh, Tucker got the thinking skill, which is kind of cool. Is that from this? Omega, give it to her as a wrapped up gift. And then after she opens it and looks at it, be like, <laughs> oops, there was a mix up. That would be funny. You're like, oh, I meant that for someone else. <laughs> Uh, Trevor, once you're done, actually, you can be done with that. Why don't you do a little bit of eye padding? Play some Sim Shape. Oh no, why is he so sad? He's about to go play doll. Or, I don't think his dad's going to play dolls with him. I think he wanted to play dolls with him. But you actually don't need imagination. So instead, why don't you... Can you do... You can't do shapes. Why don't you come play in the tunnels a little bit? I apologize that I'm getting kind of congested. Quincy is back home from school. No need to make room on the fridge. Oh my gosh, we didn't even get to a B. That's kind of frustrating. Uh, okay, how are you doing? 
Okay, you can quickly come and maybe watch some TV, watch, um, maybe watch the cooking channel. Uh, and then do your homework. Uh, Oliver, yes, you can come hang out. You're gonna come play with your iPad in here. They're both coming to play with their iPads in somewhere else. Uh, are you able to potty yourself yet? Yes. So you can go potty. Uh, yeah, go potty and then just go to sleep, I think. Hey Ryan, we'd love you to join Club Cosplay. Uh, I don't know why you're inviting your kid, a kid to a club when you're an adult. That's kind of weird to me. Um, so these two kids are back. How are they doing school-wise? I feel like doing that project didn't help at all. But anyways, why don't you come watch TV for a little bit? Uh, you're good to just get started on your homework, I think. This is kind of a weird song. I think I'm going to change it. Oh, it's almost over. Yeah. Uh, okay. So... Oh, Portia's talking to her kids. Aw, that's kind of cute. Tucker came to go sit with her while she's working on her computer and um, and is chatting with her. All right, so she finished a book. Is it a bestseller? No, of course it isn't. Now that we need to write bestsellers, we're not going to write one for a while, I worry. Uh, why don't you come publish? Trevor's Toad, which is excellent. Excellent is not good enough. Um, let's get these two birth certificates up on the wall. And I need to fix these in build mode. Oh, I don't like this one. There we go. There we go. Okay, let me also do a quick save while I'm thinking about it. Uh, and I think I'm going to change playlists because I feel like it. So let's go in here. There we go. Hey, this is kind of cool. I never actually like play with whatever this is, um, but somebody's been playing on it and built a rocket, which is really neat. Uh, Portia, what are you doing? You're coming to check on your toddlers, which is nice. Um, I think he's doing okay though. You don't really need to worry, um, but maybe you can put t Tucker on the potty. That would be good. So potty train. Tucker. Trevor's doing okay. He's just, oh, he's coming to do his uh, sim shape with the little chicks, which is cute. Um, you can start doing your homework. Uh, you can also maybe start doing your homework. And I don't know, I don't know if it's worth, I mean, maybe we'll have the kids do the other project and we can have Raven start it because we did one for Ryan, but it actually doesn't appear to have helped their school performance at all because they're both like at the same stage. You're tired. Uh, where are you doing your homework, by the way? Oh, just out in the rain. Cool. <laughs> that is not where I would do it, but... Um, why don't you come use the bathroom and take a shower? And you can maybe take a little nap. Oh, look at 
look at him walking around like a he's got the creepy walk style which is kind of funny uh how are these two doing so you're pottying but still doing pretty good so once you're done that maybe keep doing your sim shape and Portia what can we do with you um, maybe you can make some food tomorrow I think we're gonna try to get Portia pregnant again I just want to put a little bit of a gap uh, because of having three toddlers right now uh, Seltzer's angry but he's about to head to sleep so that's good uh did you finish your homework where <laughs> where's your homework oh here it is of course you didn't finish it can you please just come here and finish your homework you have food in here you don't need to go over there for food um once you're done you can go to the washroom and start working on this Oh my gosh, I need to stretch. Oh yeah, and it's rebate day. Let's buy something for them that they can get a rebate on. What What do we want to buy? Are there some new kids items? Mm. We got these two new items, new toddler items. Uh, we could get like a kiddie pool. Um, maybe in a different color, like orange or something. We could put like a little kiddie pool out here for the summertime. That could be fun. Uh, what else can we just put some, waste some money on? I think we got a violin the other day. Yeah, we've got a violin. We got rid of the dollhouse that was here. Um, oh, we don't have a science table. We could get one of these. I don't exactly know where we would put it. Um, what if we put it in this room and we get rid of like all this stuff and we'll just put a fire alarm in here so then this can be and then the sims are going to keep trying to come put all their dishes in here no matter where they are on the property because that is something that kind of bothers me. Um, I actually usually drag their dishes for them into this trash can. All right, let's do a quick save and then we'll jump back into the game and then they can get some money back for rebate day and not be sad that they had a rotten holiday and that I ruined their lives because I refused to buy them anything today specifically. So. One thing I do wish is that like they didn't get so like I get kids you know if they don't have a good winter fest they get really sad but as an adult I kind of feel like adult sims should not be like devastated if their love day doesn't go exactly the way they planned you know what I mean? I just feel like <laughs> I don't know my sims are my sims get like really sad about things and it makes me really sad. And I do feel like, you know, the holiday is one of those things where it's not like kids, yeah, they get sad if the holiday doesn't go as planned, but adults, you know, I don't think, I don't think I mind so much when things go a little differently than how I thought they would. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, Portia, you were cooking, right? Yes. Okay. 
Uh, maybe you can also throw that out. And can you clean that floor? That would be good. How's everyone else doing? Oh no, I forgot I had other plans. See you later. I think Oliver is upset that we just ignored him when he came. Whoopsies. Uh, these two kids are hungry. So we might want to send them back to the toddler cabin. They can come eat here. And then they can both head to bed as well. Uh, Raven, you need fun. So why don't you, did you start that school project like we asked you? I'll bet you she did it. Nope. Okay, come start working on this, please. <laughs> Quincy's feeling pretty tired. Remember when Quincy got taken away? <laughs> that was a mistake for sure, but I still, I still think about it sometimes, how we almost lost her. Her and Mike, they were the two that got taken away um, because of the glitch where their needs just like get really low while we're off the property. Can you throw that out too, please? Oh my gosh, Raven, no, I told you. Can you not work? Is there, is it a, this school project? Chemical reaction volcano. There's no reason, maybe she can't reach it. Maybe that's what the problem is. Uh, start working on that, please. Hello. Hello, please come here. Go here. Uh, oh my God, Omega, earlier today you saved, exit, came back. Um, and your plants were dead or dying, not as far along as they had been. You were so upset. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> that sucks. Sometimes that happens with the plants or like you move them because you're building. Um, and as soon as you move them, it just like ruins everything. Look at her in her little bunny slippers and her little bunny sleepwear. I guess she's a really big fan of bunnies. Alrighty, come work on this, please. She can't reach it, okay. Um, okay, let's turn it. Now can you reach it? No? Okay, now can you reach it? No. Uh, <laughs> what about now? Okay, now she can get it. Oh no, somebody else has died. Uh, Esquire Enzo passed. I'm so sorry for your loss. All my sims are going to need therapy because all their siblings are dying. Love the cotton tail. I know, isn't it so cute? It is very adorable. You can come here and help them too. And then maybe you all can get a little bit of social. Uh, okay, okay. Um, what is going on here? You can sleep. Um, you're going to sleep. You can also go to sleep. Okay. Um, Portia, why don't you clear out this potty? <laughs> I don't know why they're playing. Nobody is listening to me. <laughs> All my sims are just doing whatever they want. That's not how we operate. I am a micromanager and they must do as I say. Their lives will be better for it. They will be more successful, well taken care of, all those things if they just listen to me. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know why. It's not like I don't ever make... Um, I mean, I guess I can sometimes make that bad decisions, which happened towards the end of our, our, our gameplay on Saturday. Um, <laughs> when I decided to try to cheat so that... Uh, so that we could try to be angry enough to do an angry scene. Makes you so mad when they don't listen. I know, it's really frustrating. Okay, everyone is in bed. Portia, why don't you come tuck everyone in? It makes them happy. So everyone should be in a good place now to sleep. Uh, Trevor is a little bit missing attention, but it's okay. He won't notice if he's asleep. Don't talk about Saturday. <laughs> I know. I shouldn't talk about it, but it is true. <laughs> we Mistakes were made. Lessons were learned. I will no longer be cheating. Um, I will no longer be doing emotional cheats. I think I've learned my lesson. You two need to go to bed. Go to sleep. Yeah, that was quite um, that was quite traumatic. I was very upset. A bunch of things need evolving out here. Um, maybe we can do a little bit of harvesting so I can have a better sense of what's sparkling. Something else is. Are you? No, are you? Yes, and I think this one is too, yeah. <laughs> yes, we don't talk about Saturday. It was, it was not our best day. <laughs> I mean, it went really well until the very end. It was just in the last few moments that, um, that we had problems. Literally, the very, very end of the stream is where we had issues. I feel like I'm having issues. I don't know if this is a problem with my iPad or what, or if it's actually like my stream, but I feel like I'm having issues where it crashes. I don't know if it's me. It seems to be doing fine on my end. Um, but sometimes I get like on my iPad that it crashes. So I don't know if anyone's having issues with the stream, let me know. It looks good on my end. But I just opened it on my phone to check um, and it seems to be working on my phone. I don't really know what's going on. I'm hoping it's not an issue on my end. Uh, let's put our beekeeper Sue on and also check on these bees. Um, oh, we took a photo with uh, Muzik, but we didn't have his baby. It's all some of this stuff here. There we go. Okay, perfect. Uh, maybe at some point when um like after we end the stream i might go through and sell all of those toys in porsche's inventory because we don't need it i'm fine with you omega that's good to know um yeah i think maybe so i've noticed that sometimes the chat crashes because i like to keep the chat on my ipad because i have so many tabs open on my computer um and so i i usually like to have it here where it's just a little bit easier for me to see but uh, Lil Simsy did say Twitch has been having issues all day. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because I noticed a few times that the chat was crashing. Just the chat. And then finally, the whole stream seemed to crash on my iPad. Um, so, but it looks like it's fine on my phone. And everything that I can see looks fine and normal. So, I don't know. Um, I don't know what's going on. I'm hoping it's not my Wi-Fi. <laughs> because, you know. I have a pretty good Wi-Fi. I spend a good amount of money on it and I like to think that 
Um, as a result, I get a good quality internet, but you never know. It could be there's lots of construction in the area still, and sometimes that kind of thing can affect it. So, because I don't have, um, it's the kind of internet I have. It, uh, it can get, like, affected by things like that, apparently. I don't really know. I don't understand how it all works. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of fertilizing. Maybe we should put some lights out here. Uh, something is sparkling around here, I think. Yeah, there we go. What, why did we have a bad rebate day? We bought lots of things. We bought things just for rebate day. Did I do it wrong? Was it on build items that we're supposed to spend money on? Seems that mostly people on mobile were having problems. Oh, interesting. That would make sense then. Because it hasn't crashed once on my browser. Like, I don't have, well, I guess I don't have the stream open on my browser, but I have the chat open. Um, and everything has looked fine on there. I guess also if you're having issues, how are you supposed to let me know? <laughs> That's kind of silly of me. <laughs> Whoopsies. All right, we're going to go through and fertilize, fertilize, fertilize. Uh, you think items have to cost at least 500 for rebate day? Oh, yeah, I think that's actually true. I definitely messed that one up. I didn't pay attention. I thought we were buying expensive items, but I didn't actually pay attention to how much anything cost. I just assumed it w we would be spending enough on an item, but yeah. Whoopsies. All right, we will keep on, keep on fertilizing. I'm sorry, I know this isn't the funnest watch. I'm trying to think of a good story I can tell you. Um, <laughs> what was, I don't know, I was thinking a lot about wars lately. <laughs> like the world wars and just history. I don't really know why I was thinking about that and it's probably not something a lot of folks are interested in. But that's kind of what's been on my mind lately. Oh, we've got more things to harvest over here. Okay, we'll do that. Um, also, how are these kids doing? Um, let's get Seltzer up just to do a quick potty. I always put him on the pink potty. I think it's because of his pink hair. <laughs> I'm just attracted to it for him. Oh, we might want to go do a potty with Tucker. Um, we'll do that after we finish this round of fertilizing. Um. Oh, and we're still harvesting here. Okay. Um. But yeah, I was watching... Uh, I was watching history is your least liked subject. Oh, Omega, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> history is really, really interesting. I don't think I ever liked history in school. Um, I didn't enjoy my history classes, even though I did have a very, very good history teacher. And I still remember, like, I think that's the one class in high school where I still remember, like, things that the teacher taught me. Um, I've forgotten most of what I was taught in other classes. Who is it that we just woke up for potty? Uh, Tucker, okay. So we will potty train Tucker. Um, but yeah, I never liked it in school because I think like memorizing dates and stuff, um, I was never very good at memorizing like word for word. I was good at 
memorizing like concepts kind of thing, if that makes sense. Like I could remember, I could remember, like I could paraphrase, you know, the cause of a war and sort of like overall, like who was on each side and stuff like that. And like I know, you know, for example, World War II, United States um, joined later and stuff like that and why they joined later, but I couldn't tell you what exact date the United States joined World War II, for example. So, and um, in my grade 10 history class, I feel like um, a lot of the tests you had to know specific dates. So I think I just didn't like it because I didn't do well on tests. Um, I always did well on, on projects and essays and things, but I never did well on tests that required like specific memorization. Um, though you liked it a lot more now than as a student. Yeah, exactly. So I think that's kind of what made me it kind of spoiled history a little bit for me. But as I got older and I got into reading like biographies and um, and historical fiction and just in general learning the context behind different things that have happened, um, I've started appreciating history a lot more. And I think I always liked it. I just didn't like how it was taught in schools or how you were taught to learn history. Um, so I do think that that more than anything was was really what I had an issue with. So uh, we should probably get out a breakfast food. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, so that might be similar. I don't know, Omega, what you think, but yeah. I never liked how history was taught in school, but I have really, I really enjoy learning about history on my own time kind of thing. Um, you're going to need to eat um, and maybe you can watch some TV. Get yourself all set for school. Uh, you're going to have to clean. Um, and then eat something. They're all really tired, I think, because we were up late doing projects. Uh, once you're all done, are we going to put you to bed? Yes. Okay. Good. So we will do that. Um, oh, right. And Portia doesn't have to sleep anymore because we got her that trait. Uh, never wary, which is super helpful. So maybe we should try to write a bestseller. Um, I think, is this the last level of the aspiration? Oh my gosh, it's not yet. So we still have another level after this, I think. Um, everyone's getting up, which is good. Everyone has school, so we want to make sure that they're all ready for school. Um, can you, yeah, okay, good. Uh, and then you can polish to perfection. And then maybe cook some more food. Uh, scrambled eggs with turkey bacon. Sounds great. Uh, Ryan is in the range to earn the responsible trait, which is nice. Uh, you probably should get up as well. Omega, you am, um, are amazed at some of the lies you were taught and the things that were glossed over. Oh, in history, especially regarding racism and treatment of black people. Yeah, that's kind of, um, there are some pretty big topics in Canada's history that our Canadian textbooks don't really address. Thankfully, when I got to university, um, they made sure to cover a lot of those topics, even though I didn't do history. Um, but because I did... <laughs> Like, just in general, um, poli sci, sociology, different issues, uh, world issues, and things like that. Um, it was really important to understand real history, like how it really happened. So I was grateful that I got the opportunity to just <laughs> get a little bit of a better briefing on what happened. Because, yeah, our Canadian textbooks do gloss over a lot and don't really go into some of big especially with um indigenous people some really big pieces of history there that are um just not a part of the curriculum hopefully they are more now a high school for me was a long time ago um and i think uh uh in general like we've become a lot more aware of how problematic it is that, that we don't talk about that 
in history classes, so I think that they've hopefully made some changes to the curriculum to um, include more of that. These kids are in great moods, but their fun is so low. Uh, yes, that's fine. Um, why is she sparkling? Do you see this, like, sparkle that's coming off of her? Does anyone know why this is happening? She's been doing this for a while now. Like, this didn't just start now. I noticed it when she got home from school, and I thought maybe it was because of her grades, even though she's still, I think, a C student. Yeah, she's a C student. Um, and they're not going away. She keeps sparkling. It's so strange. Um, so let's check on Portia. We'll put this in, oh, maybe we should put it for the toddlers here. I think that they're out of food. Uh, and then once you're done that, maybe you can quickly clear out any spoilt food and we'll do, um, we will do, a screenplay and make sure that these kids are taking notes in class um, and how are these ones doing they're doing pretty good you can get up uh, maybe get a little attention from this bear that would be great uh, can you give your iPad to seltzer Oh, we want to get Portia pregnant today. Okay, maybe let's actually focus on that. I forgot about that. Um, so Portia, can you... <sighs> Who can we get pregnant with? Um, should we try with Legato? Because we have a really good romance. It's just, I think he got married since we developed that. And... For whatever reason in my game, uh, you can't really flirt with Sims that have spouses. It looks like it looks like Keenan here um, doesn't have a spouse. Maybe we should try Keenan. Now we didn't have a baby with him. We ended up having a baby with Eric. Um, so I don't know. Should we try Legato first, maybe? And if that doesn't work. We can try with Keenan. Let's invite him over. Um, and this is going well. He's getting some attention. Um, how are the other kids doing? You're going to need to eat. You also need to eat. Um, you have an iPad. I want you to, oh yeah, you have an iPad, which is what we want. Um, so maybe you can play some Sim Shape after, and you can also play some Sim Shape. Oh, <laughs> you're eating, eating for two. Um, why don't you come eat something as well? Maybe you can chat with your brothers. Uh, when you were homeschooled, your daughter uh, last year for fourth grade, there were so many things they glossed over in the curriculum, and you were like, no, this is how it really was. Uh, kill his wife. <laughs> that is an option. We could kill the wife. Um, another, <laughs> that's so dark. Another standardized test. Raven is almost done when she realizes she skipped. Oh. Let's just turn it in. Um, oh no, so she got assigned extra work. She's probably gonna have an annoyed school day then from that. All right, so I think we're inviting over Legato. Um, okay, we will do manners. Portia cares about manners and responsibility. She doesn't really care for the other ones so much. Uh, okay, so here he is. 
Um, let's chat with him a little bit first. Maybe tell him a joke. All right, Portia, come on. We need some fresh jeans in uh, in the family. Portia's sparkling too. I wonder why that is. I'm not really sure. Oh, let's put some lotion on. Uh. Wait, why can't we talk to him? Um, okay, so let's try this again. Maybe do a knock-knock joke. Usually means inspiration. Oh, okay. But I don't think that um, Quincy has been inspired the whole time, but she's had sparkles forever. Uh, oh, you're crying. Um, why don't you... How are your skills? Communication, potty, thinking... Movement. Why don't you come play on this thing a little bit? Okay. So they're chatting. He's feeling uncomfortable, which is probably not going to make it easy for us to flirt with him. Uh, let's still try, though. Did we have our first kiss with him? Let's compliment his personality, see how that goes. Ask him a risque question, maybe? He's probably gonna... <laughs> no, he didn't like it. But he does seem to blow us a kiss back. Oh, no, that one did work. Um, appreciate for all the little things. Maybe it's only certain romance interactions that don't work. Okay, so that didn't work. Let's try blowing him a kiss. Ew, he just said ew to our kiss. Okay, I don't think this is gonna work. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, what do we do? We Let's just get him to go away. Who's this? <laughs> Can we have a baby with uh, this person? Let's go ahead and do an enchanting introduction. Not me. Oh, hello. How are you doing? You haven't been in the stream for a long time. I know it's been a little while since I've seen you. How are you doing? I hope you're having a wonderful day. We are just working on our 100 baby challenge. Um, did we not? That's the, that intro seems to have gone well. Let's blow a kiss. Oh, Arab. Things are going well with Arab. Let's take a photo with them. Um, no, Portia, I don't know where you're going. Take a photo with Arab, please. Um... Let's get rid of this stuff. <laughs> this is kind of a cute photo, actually. I like how, um, I think, I like the inspection hat. I think we're gonna do maybe a bright filter. There we go. Oh, interesting, he's got a blonde beard, which, oh. so he's got blonde hair. Okay, I didn't even notice that. Um, Let's do a bold pickup line. And can we get our first kiss? Um, hmm. Compliment his appearance. Ooh, that didn't work. I don't think that was a romance interaction, though. Um... Oh, something awkward just happened. Um, oh no, I don't know why. Why is this going wrong now? Can we apologize? Okay, that went well. 
Um, you're playing The Sims as well, but you have to go, sadly. Oh, I'm sorry, not me, but hopefully we'll see you again soon. Um, I hope you have fun playing The Sims and with whatever else you have going on today. Um, maybe we'll see you again next time. Uh, but it was nice to see you drop by. Uh, let us, can we embrace him? Maybe he feels a little uncomfortable because of Patchy and we had a kid with Patchy, but like we're not, let's slow dance. Slow dance until we can do a first kiss. Um, oh, and Quincy is back. <laughs> Look at her, she's so cute in her little dress. Um, what can you do for fun? Why don't you? Do some yoga. And no, 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 don't do that. Go potty, go potty, go potty. You can do it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. She has a rainbow now. Oh, does that mean she got an A? No, she's a B student. She's got rainbow and sparkles. I mean, I love it. I love that she has the rainbow and the sparkles. I just don't understand it. <laughs> I'm just unsure why it's there. Uh, you need potty as well. Oh, um, no, no, no. Where's our inspector friend? Where'd he go? I walk away for one second and I lose our next baby donor. Shame on me. Um, oh, he's gone. Okay, let's invite him over. Who's Adam? Do we have a baby with Adam? I think so. Oh, she was coming over here to play with him. That's cute. Uh, you need to talk a little bit more to this bear. Um, these two also have bees, which is great. Uh, oh. I think this must be their hot weather wear. I've never seen it. I love his little pants. I think they're so cute. They both need fun. They're gonna go watch TV, that's okay. Portia, can you come entertain our guest, please? Um, confess attraction. Uh, Okay. Um, you're gonna need to like take a bath or something. Maybe take a bubble bath. Maybe that will get her fun up. Portia, can you just put that milk down? <laughs> Why do you have a glass of milk? Um, okay. Let's ask if single. All right, I gotta focus. You don't know why. <laughs> you don't know why, oh my god. Yeah, I don't know why she has the sparkles either. It's a mystery. Okay, that didn't go well. I really need to focus. I don't understand why some things work and other things don't. What if we recite love poetry? What is this? Ask if single. I want to know. Oh, yes. He is single. Okay, so this shouldn't be as hard as it feels like it is right now. Like, this is just not really... Can we give him, like, a flower? Um, <laughs> let's give him a toy, because we have so many of those. It's worth a lot of money. Like, some actions he just really seems to dislike. Can we ask him a risque question? He liked the gift, which is nice. Oh my gosh, why is this? See, he's not into that. What about a bold pickup line? He's into that. I don't understand what's working and what isn't. Give him a rose. Uh, do a smooth recovery. Okay, let's do that. 
Oh. He likes the rose. Um, <laughs> kiss his hand. <laughs> this is <laughs> tough. <laughs> uh, I'm still not getting a first kiss option. Um, what about a sexy pose? Now that they're both flirty, I'm hoping it will be easier. Compliment his appearance. Everyone likes a compliment, right? Yeah, he likes that. <gasps> what? No, no, no. Okay, let's do a first kiss. Um, is he going to... I feel like people that do this should not be allowed on our house, on our lot with all these children around. But we need to be pregnant. are you doing okay get out of our bed please first of all Portia why don't you come here uh, Google a rainbow may appear over your sims head after they successfully accomplished a task or challenge it indicates your sim is happy with the result of their work okay that makes sense um, okay hang on I don't know okay good he put his clothes back on that's good uh, let's try to get a first kiss Um, the rainbow is often connected to the good school lot trait. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I do think I have a good school lot trait on the house. That was crazy. <laughs> that was very strange. Like, he has Portia right here who's, like, throwing herself at him. And he just decides to take off all his clothes and hang out naked in her bed. Which is very, very strange. Um, okay, now we can try for a baby. I mean, he's got he's got her right here, but instead he goes off on his own to do that. All right. After all of that, we're getting his picture on the wall, and we are getting his jeans. Is this our photos? Yeah. Um. So it's one of these ones. Okay, let's do this one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why does that always happen to me? So, Arev Joyson. Okay. So, name. This will be for baby 31. Air Arev Joyson. I think I spelled that correctly. Joyson. Joyson? No, I put an E. Uh, <laughs> let me fix that. Rename Arev Joy. It was with an O, right? Joy's son. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Um, so, Portia, once you're done with that, um, we will make sure you're pregnant. And then we will ask him to please leave it and not come back. I think is what we want to do. Okay, so these two kids are doing okay. Um, you can go to the toilet. Um, and then do your homework. Um, and you can do your homework, I think. Um, and we'll take care of your needs after. And that must mean we're pregnant. Yay. Okay. Where is our friend? <laughs> friend. Okay. Let's ask him to just be friends. Arab. It was interesting to say the least. Um, ask to just be friends. Thanks for your contribution. Um, you may leave and never come back. Uh, oh, she did her homework. Great. Um, you can come, maybe go to the toilet and eat something. Uh, 
Good, we're pregnant. He can go now. <laughs> yes, agreed. Where did this guy go even? Where are we? Did he? Did he? Oh, he left. He left when we didn't have the chance to ask him to just be friends. That's womp womp. Um, and all of our toddlers are here. And they're all tired. Um, you're in bed, which is good. Um, does anyone need a potty? No. Both the kids need to go to sleep. So we will do that. Uh, raise your manners. Um, you can come. And you can also... Sorry, you can also go to sleep. Okay. So everyone's asleep. You're finishing your homework, Portia. Why don't you... Or why don't you serve some food? Because I don't think we have that much food left. Okay. All right. That was like, that took all day. It took us all day to get her pregnant. I feel like that's the longest it's ever taken us. It's getting harder. I thought it would get easier, but it's not. It is the opposite. Um, whose homework is out here? I think it's just an extra homework. Okay, well, you can have it. Um, Portia, uh, you're playing. That's fine. Uh, wait. Why are your needs so bad? Um, you need to just do your homework. Um, okay. So we will make sure all the kids eat and then go to bed. They can have some of this chickpea spaghetti. Um, and then everyone will be asleep and Portia will have the night to just work through now that we no longer have to sleep anymore. Which I love. Um, and you definitely need to like take care of yourself a little bit. Maybe you can finish this painting. Go pee. Finish this painting. Just to get a little bit of fun in and then go to sleep. Um, whoa, this is a tiny volcano. Why is it so small? That is, isn't that smaller than they usually are? I don't really know. Okay, can you also grab some of that? Yeah, you come eat. Uh, you come eat. Uh, you're probably going to need to come eat, actually. I don't really know how we're going to get everything done with her. Her needs are really bad. You need to use that toilet, I think, because it's the closest. And then you need to eat. And then I guess we'll put her to bed and she'll just have to finish her homework in the morning. Um, why are you awake? Oh, you didn't make it to bed. Okay. You can go to sleep. Um, Portia, why don't you come clean this bathtub and take a bath? We will give this to you because that is your school project. And then once you're done eating, you can come over here to sleep. And you can go to sleep. Okay. So everyone, I mean, we're still, Quincy's struggling a little bit, but we're doing the best we can with her. Uh, Portia, while the kids are in bed, um, let's make a little bit more food. Because I feel like we're just generally low on food now that we have three toddlers. So we can make some chili um, let's throw some of these ingredients in here we do have the simple living trait but we do make quite a bit of like we have so much produce that I feel like it's never a concern we can always make something and we get so many eggs as well um, we will sell these I think And we do use the beans for when we make chocolate cake. 
Don't even worry about doing your dishes. Just go to bed. Um, oh, that's not yours. That's yours. Okay. So... So all the kids are hopefully in decent shape. <laughs> Let's put this away. Man, that was stressful. It was stressful because I was trying to focus on getting her pregnant and then I just ignored all the kids and for some reason they couldn't take care of themselves. So I had to step in. And her hunger is going down faster because she's pregnant. Okay, so we will make this. Let's also maybe make some fruit salad. Uh, ooh, what special recipes can we make? High energy protein plates. Interesting. Um, we will make some fruit salad for the morning. Maybe we can make two fruit salads. And we can put one in the toddler bunker. And keep one over here for the kids. Kids should be self-sufficient. I know, right? I shouldn't have to tell them to go watch TV because their fun is low. That seems silly. What? Why are you awake? Oh my god. Um, please come to bed. There is no reason for you to be up. I'm pretty sure we told you you're in your pajamas. So she did go to bed. I don't know why she woke up. Yeah, please go to sleep. It's like 1.30 a.m. She's now going to be so tired for school tomorrow. Mind you, I shouldn't judge because this is like me every single day of my life. <laughs> All right, so we're going to make two fruit salads. Hi, sweetie. Um, and also, I'm going to put together some kind of, we'll also make a dinner, maybe some meatballs. Um, again, for the kids, I think. We will have it out for them. Hi, cutie. Do you want to come up here? All right, so we will put... What? Where did it go? Oh my gosh, did I lose the fruit salad? Oh no, here it is. Okay. So we'll put that there for everyone for breakfast. Um, let's just sell these. And we will put the next one in the toddler bunker. And Portia will also whip up some meatballs for the kids for dinner when they get home from school. Hopefully we won't have so many issues this time with taking care of their needs. <laughs> I love these little cat decals. I love, Portia to me is a decal gal, so that's why I've put so many of these up everywhere. I feel like they're trying to reinforce her, oh my gosh, this toddler is about to die. Okay, please get up and eat something. Um, how's everyone else doing? Uh, you also need to get up and eat. And you also need to get up and eat. Okay. Let's get all the toddlers fed. Trevor is very hungry. Yes, 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 we know. He's about to grab some food. I really, really hope he eats it. Okay, you want fruit salad? That's fine. You can have fruit salad. You can have whatever you want. So long as you eat and you don't get taken away. I just don't want my toddlers. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just don't want them to get taken away again. You need Porsche's 24-hour energy. Oh, Omega. I know. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Although, sleep is, you know, it's a good break from life sometimes. Okay, um, 
You still need to eat. Please eat. Please eat. Okay, good. He's eating. Um, okay. Uh, Portia, why don't you come over here and check on the toddlers? Um, oh, she's eating the, that meatball. Okay. Um, the meatball can wait. We can eat something later. I just want you to come check on them. Some of them need baths and things. We just want to make sure they're doing okay. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll get all the kids off to school. Um, and then... Uh, and you... What? Oh my gosh. Why are you awake? Look at how little energy she has. You need to finish your homework, first of all, before you play any video games. Um, yeah, you can give him a bath. Uh, you two are chatting. That's cute. That's good. It's giving you attention, too, which is nice. Um, how, what skills do you need? You're pretty close to aging up. We could do some blocks with you, maybe. If you want to play with blocks. Um, yeah, and you should totally be sleeping. That is, I think, the right move for you. Um, why don't you nap? Why are you awake and why are you coming to use this bath? It's busy. Take a shower. Um, these kids are going to be the death of me. <laughs> I don't know. Like, <laughs> they never stay in bed. What is going on? I know the other night there was a thunderstorm. And so I think that's why Alex said that's probably why they woke up, which makes sense. But... These kids have no excuses. Um, why don't you give Trevor a bath as well? Um, give a bubble bath to Trevor. Again, Portia, the meatballs can wait. Take care of your kids first, please. Even uh, Seltzer needs a bath, I think. Um, did you finish your homework? Okay, good. At least she finished her homework. Um, why don't you come just like watch any TV just something to get your fun up quickly um, why don't these two they can play chess together um, because then hopefully they'll chat and that'll get their social need up before school they can eat at school that's fine Um, can either of them do extra credit work though? They can. I really want to do their extra credit work, but at this point, why aren't you? Oh my gosh. Raven never listens to me. Raven, come play chess with your brother. That is an order or whatever. Come like, what if they watch a movie together? Um, Watch movie with, there. They can watch a movie and chat. Okay. Um, you need Porsche's 24 hour energy. I need Porsche's patience with all these kids. They're driving me um, up the wall right now. You're going to bed. Uh, you're awake. Um, let's give you a quick bath as well. Because you deserve one. I don't think you've had a bath at all since you aged up into a toddler. Okay. So while she's doing that, let's double check on these kids. Oh my gosh, where are you going? You... No. No. I don't even want to play anymore. The kids don't listen to me. Hello, Panther Girl. How are you doing? Come watch this movie. Is it because they're so sad? I am a struggling. None of my kids will listen to me. And now look at their moods. And they're all about to go to school. Yeah, you two talk. 
Um, Quincy especially. Like, I had to put her to bed five times. She refused to go to sleep. Now she has no energy, and she's going to be leaving for school. Why don't... She's going to be leaving for school now. Yeah, it's school time. It's school time. You have to go to school. <laughs> that too. You have enough trouble with one kid in real life. <laughs> yeah, Portia's patience right now. I could definitely use some of it. Why are all the toddlers awake too? Everyone is sad. Everyone is sad. I can't get them to stay asleep. Okay. Um, let's take a moment to pause. I need a deep breath. It's just The Sims. This is not real life. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we can handle this. We are pros. Everyone is off to school. I know they're not in the best mood, but that's okay. Um, maybe they can take a nap in class. You are great. You need to focus on thinking skills. So why don't you do some shapes? Now, which out of you two needs to sleep more? Um, Trevor? So Portia, can you please read Trevor to sleep? And then we will take Tucker. And we will work on his communication skill. <laughs> and you can't cheat their needs, right? No, we're trying not to do that for, for our 100 baby challenge. We don't want to use cheats. Um, like we use the occasional cheat um, if something goes wrong I will sometimes use a cheat to fix it um, like if something in the game glitches but otherwise I'm trying not to use cheats so uh, okay so please take notes take notes you can you just attend a club meeting because you're just so sad. I know that's not going to help us with our goal of getting her A, but I just, I don't know what else to do. Okay, so now let's potty train Tucker. Now that um, Trevor is asleep. So Tucker, we will put you on the potty. Thought so, yeah. Yeah, so we're trying to avoid that if we can. It's not so bad, like bladder and hunger, they will eat. Oh, we just received a rebate of $47. Um, $10 off for shopping on rebate date. Wait, we got the rebate now, but we didn't get on rebate date. That's so strange. Because they were all sad that they'd had a bad rebate day. But anyways, whatever. Okay. So we will potty train Tucker and then we will read him to sleep. Tucker. Um, and then Trevor is okay. You're not going to need to go potty for a while. Uh, you're going potty. And then uh, you still need a little bit of communication skill. And then we'll keep doing shapes. Okay. Uh, I think we have things under control. Did our power just go out? Oh, no, it didn't. They just walked into this room. Look at all these gnomes, by the way. They just hang out here. <laughs> they hang out to wait from one harvest fest to the next. Yeah, I think the issue is that they're so sad. And, and they're so sad because, um, like, Portia's older kids are now starting to pass. Uh, which I know is a little strange given that Portia is still an adult, but because she's constantly pregnant, she doesn't age. I don't have aging on for pregnancy. So, um, so like Emily Villarreal, um, and Fiona are some of the older kids that are still alive, but Esquire has passed. I know Amanda and Brittany both passed. Connor passed. Uh, Danielle passed, which was our first D kid to pass. Um, we still have Darling. So yeah, some of the older kids are starting to pass and they get very sad when um, it's a sibling that they lost. Oh, who had five kids? Esquire had a bunch of kids. That's interesting. Um, 
So yeah, so now they're I think they're just constantly going to be sad, which kind of sucks. I don't know if there's something I could do maybe to fix that. But I think because they're so sad, that's why we're kind of having a hard time managing their needs. Um, because they want to do things to help them cope with their sadness. Portia, for some reason, is not that sad. She seems to be doing pretty okay. Um, but anyways. Um, some of the toddlers, like, they haven't even met the older siblings, but they're really sad about it. So... Oh, it is a hot day. Look at that. Okay, so we are going to now read you to sleep. Um, and then we're going to be in pretty good shape. So we are pregnant with baby 31. Teens can call the sadness hotline. Oh, that's true. I should probably do that with them. Um, and there's like sad paintings. Maybe I need to get all the kids journals. Oh, nice. You got level three communication. That's perfect. Um, so, but yeah, I don't know what I can do for toddlers when they're sad. Um, but kids can write in their journals. Young adults can jog to clear mind, write in a journal, call the sadness hotline. I think they can even blog their sad feelings. So there's a few things. Look, she's so tired. Can she like, I don't want to make her nap at school, but sleep in class. I mean, I think, I think we have to because she's just so tired. So we will let her sleep in class. Um, and then Portia, you need to brush your teeth. Your teeth have been bad for a little while, so we will brush them a couple times. Okay, let's quickly, quickly, <laughs> let's quickly give Trevor and Tucker their toddler makeovers. Um, because they do look like really cute toddlers. I wanna give them some skin details just to see how they'll look with them. I think they got the Afro texture hair from their dad, so we'll make sure to keep okay, that for them. Um, but they got Portia's exact skin tone. They actually look identical, I think. Um, actually, it looks like Tucker has the Afro texture and Trevor's got more of Portia's texture. So, um, let's take a look here. Okay, so we've got Tucker who is the charmer. Um, I'm just gonna throw some skin details on him really quick so we don't spend too much time in here. Uh, give him some blush. Uh, we'll go through and do Mm, yeah, we could do that nose. Um, give him some face texture. Uh, we need a nose mask. That's a cute one. Perfect. Um, mouth corners. And let's give him some customize. I feel like his eyes were more of like a green color, so we will do that. Um, this is the wrong color brown for his hair. Um, let's see here. Uh, we could give him this hairstyle. Like give him some locks and shave the bottom. I think that would be cute. We haven't used that before, have we? Uh, just take a quick look and see. Um, yeah, I keep more the clay hairs for the 100 baby. That's cute. You like that? Okay, we will keep that. 
Um, for his, why don't we do, we haven't done styled looks in a while. Maybe we can try some of these just to speed up the makeovers a little bit. Oh, this is cute. That's a cute little outfit. Um, and then for PJs, maybe blue. So he can like have like blue as his color for hot weather. Um, uh there that's good um and then cold weather hi sweetie how are you there all right so that is for tucker and then for trevor again i'm pretty sure that they're like identical um, I have a low chance of identical twins, although their hair is slightly different. But maybe I should keep a lot of the same skin details for them because they are quite similar looking. Oopsies. Or, or maybe we should try to make them a little bit different. Yeah, let's give them a little bit of a difference. I think that would be nice. Oh my gosh, I messed that up again. Here, we can do this one. Yeah, let's do it this way. Um, maybe he can get Portia's freckles. Uh, cause we haven't done her freckles on anyone in a little while. Um. Do a little bit of shine. Um, we can do something different. Maybe some dimples. Or some some little bags maybe um, and then for your nose yeah let's do something like that they have he has a very strong um, Porsche profile actually he's got the Porsche chin for sure um, and it even looks like he's got her nose too, I think. Um, I think these are the wrong color of eyebrows. Maybe we should give him slightly different eyebrows. There, we can do these ones. Um, is there a darker brown? Yeah, there we go. Um, and then for his hair, so he's got like a curlier hair. Um, we could do something similar, but it's styled a little bit differently based on his hair. So we could do that. He's got like tight curls kind of like of what he aged up in. I like that. So they're similar, but they're not exactly the same. And then if we go into styled looks, um, let's give him something different from his brother. That's cute. It's a little bit more sporty. Cute, paint the girl. I'm glad you like it. I think it's cute too. Um, we could give him matching pajamas. Um, and then for his hot weather wear, there's not a ton of options. Um, for cold weather wear, there's more. So maybe we can do... Oh, this is so cute. We're doing this for sure. <laughs> Um, and then let's, we can give him a look for his hot weather. Actually, I kind of like that shirt. He can keep that and we could just maybe give him some kind of pants to go with it or shorts. Hmm. Maybe gray. Um, uh, and then maybe just do some little shoes and little socks. What shoes did he have on here? Red shoes. Maybe we could put the red shoes on. So it's kind of like he's got the same shoes on from his um, other outfit. Yeah. So there's Trevor. We've got little, they're actually super cute, Trevor and Tucker. I know I did them super, super fast. I, I was trying to speed through a little bit. I didn't want to spend too much time in cast. But I'm glad that we gave them some cute little toddler looks. 
because we've had them for toddlers for a little while now. We didn't really give them their makeovers, but they deserve them, just like all our other kids. All right, so I'm gonna try to get out one more book before we end things um, and try to get the kids into better moods so that we don't uh, <laughs> we don't come back to a game where they're all like really struggling again. But I think we kind of like, I was panicking a little bit before they went to school, but I've got my head back in the game. We have put a lot of focus on Portia getting pregnant too. Um, so I think that's why I kind of like, <laughs> I assumed that they would, A, if I lined up a few actions for them, that they would take care of themselves and make sure to get those done. And then I also just didn't foresee that they wouldn't sleep, even though I kept sending them to bed. So let's try to get them just through this evening, get them ready for school Thursday morning, um, and then we will probably end things there. And Portia's just doing some cleaning. Okay, good. So ev everyone is good. You need to eat something soon so you can grab some eggs. You're both asleep. Kids at school aren't doing great, but it is what it is. Maybe, <laughs> I hate doing this, but we're gonna have the kids sleep in class just to make up for the fact that none of them slept last night. There we go. Um, it's. It, it's not going to help them get their A's, which we want, but I mean, it is what it is. Uh, we had to make sacrifices to get Portia pregnant. <laughs> and the sacrifice was that the kids were not ready for school. So, um, Portia, you can come get some leftovers. And then why don't you come uh, write something? Uh, right. Imagine she did a love advice blog. That would be funny. Um, come write uh, a screenplay afterwards. Not sure why she decided to come to this fridge when she was standing right next to one. But anyways, <laughs> Sims don't make logical choices. Um, and once you're done playing with those blocks, um, just turn it in on time. Uh, so she has to do some extra get, just work harder. Um, and then once you're done eating, I think you need to head to bed as well. Oh, and he's sad because it's hot. We can put you in your summer wear. Here you go. There we go. He shouldn't be hot anymore. I love how we gave him pink sandals to match his pink hair. I think it's super cute. <laughs> He's so cute. Does he also have, we might have given him Porsche's freckles. Yeah, he's got Porsche's freckles too, actually. So him and Tre Trevor have them. Oh, I love toddlers in this game. I do think they're super cute. Um, so you're home from school and you're sad. Um, I think first thing you need to, whoa, whoa. Let's replace that. First thing you need to do is um, get some sleep, I think. Oh, Apache's cleaning our sink. That's nice of him. Come sleep. Don't even nap, just go straight to bed. Um. Portia, I feel like you're done that, which is good. Um, so she's got a B. Yeah, so we just need to make sure that she gets, I think she gets homework and extra credit. So we can make sure that she gets those done um, for tomorrow's school. Oh, you can put this up. There we go. That's cute. Okay. Um, 
and these two when they come home um, why don't you two come play chess once you're back home uh, let's do my kids won't sleep All right, so now that they're home, we will have them play chess with each other. Because then hopefully they can have fun, uh, get some mental skill. Oh, interesting. Oh, no, never mind. I thought that Ryan had gotten an A, but he didn't. I, he got A, B. <laughs> I saw that A there, and I thought that was his grade, and I was like, woohoo, Ryan did it. I don't know why Raven didn't, but... All right, so these two are gonna play with each other. That should get their fun and their social up and their skills up, which is great. Triple threat, I love it. This is how Sims was meant to be played. And they're so cute too. Um, then Raven, you're tired, but it would be nice if you could do your homework. She had two homeworks and now she has zero homeworks. Did I put them both? I think I put them both in the bookcase. Um, let's get one of these. Give them to her. There we go. Whenever a kid ages up, I put their old homework in the bookcase because, you know, if kids lose it, we have some to spare, so we don't have to stress. Does Ryan have a shirt on? He does, actually. It's just the shirt happens to be very similar color to his skin, but he does have a shirt on. You can see it here. See the sleeves. Aw, Patchy is coming to chat with them. Patchy is honestly a great addition to this family. He does so much. And I feel like he's underappreciated. Oh, we gotta fix this. Um, repair the computer. Barely, but yeah, <laughs> you can barely see it. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe I need to change the color swatch on his outfit. <laughs> um, okay, why don't you play another game? Just one more, and then you can both probably work on your homework. And Portia, if you could get back to writing your book, that would be great. Uh, resume writing, my kids won't sleep. Yeah, and then I think they'll both be in an okay enough mood to, at least you will. You can do your homework after. Um, and Ryan, as for you, you need to take care of yourself. Maybe if you take a bubble bath, that will also help your fun a little bit. Um, and then you can do your homework. Um, and I think once you're done that you will take maybe take a nap first and then we can do your homework and we're gonna get Quincy up and have her do her homework uh, she's far too tense why is she why are you tense my child the edge of a breakout um, what can we do try to calm yourself down Oh no. Quincy is really having it rough. Remember we had a couple, I hate the noise of a broken computer. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that noise was actually really, really annoying. I'm sorry I, I stayed zoomed in on it for so long. Um, but remember we had a couple of boys that um, just always just had a really rough time. Can you keep working on this sad painting? No? Okay, scrap that painting. I'm gonna have her do another sad painting just to help kind of get her. Just to, just to kind of like hopefully calm her down a little bit. What does she want to do? Have a cry. You can have a cry, cry it out. Um, and then you need to do your homework. Um, yeah, no, we had a couple of boys. Which ones were they? Uh, if I go in here. If I see their faces, I'll remember. I think Mike was one, actually, and was Mike one or was it Ivan? 
Joey. It was one of our kids with red hair had a really rough time. Poor baby. Yeah. Um, and didn't we have, didn't Kalem have a hard time too? There was a couple of kids. Um, and maybe Nicole. There was a couple of kids that just like, oh, it was definitely Ivan. It was Ivan for sure. Um, that just like, they were always sort of having mood swings and we could never get them to do their homework because they were just always having such a terrible time. So that was tough. Um, once you're done that, yeah, you can do your homework. You can do your homework once you're done that. Um, Aaron is calling. Uh, no thanks, A or not Aaron. Arab is calling. Arab, uh, we don't really want to talk to you anymore, thanks. Um, Patricia, we'd love to go to your house, but we're busy. Um, okay. Oh, and this is gonna... This is gonna make me... <laughs> I want you to repair that if you can. I don't like when I can hear the sound of running water. It kind of bothers me. Um, can you, we'll get him out of the bath. You're clean enough. Do your homework. And you're rested enough, do your homework please. Because I think everyone has extra credit as well that I want to make sure that they do. So they can both do their homework and also eat after. Um, and Portia, maybe you can come help some of them with their homework once you're done that. Oh, and we need to check on the toddlers. Um, you can go potty. You need to get up and eat. And you also need to get up and eat. Thank you. Okay, so the toddlers are all good. Portia finished her book. Is it a bestseller? No. Now that we need the bestsellers, we just wrote two bestsellers in a row and now that we need them, we're not writing any. <laughs> of course. Uh, let's get rid of that. Um. Look at them, they're so cute. I love how we made their pajamas match with their little sockies. I think that's cute. Uh, once you're done with your pottying, I guess we need to play some blocks. Actually, you're almost ready to age up. Um, why don't you do some shapes? We won't be able to age them up in time for tomorrow. But we should get it to the point where we can age him up so he can go to school on Friday, which would be good. Uh, how are these kids doing with their homework? Um, they're okay. Let's... Portia, maybe you can eat too. Well, we have a moment. Come eat some meatballs. Everyone can eat. Um, you can do some, um, iPad, except you don't have an iPad. Uh, who has the iPads? You do. So can you please do some sim shape and then you also please do some sim shape. That would be great. Let's get rid of this. Okay. So everyone is skilling which is good. Get rid of some of these. Get rid of that. Uh-oh, another sibling died. Uh, that is definitely a sibling that died if they're all getting it. Yeah, this is why, this is why everyone's going through a rough time. This happens like every day. Somebody passes. <sighs> so they're gonna be sad again. Um, yes, you need to come go to sleep. 
you, my child. Once you're done with those meatballs, also need to sleep. Once you're done with your meatballs, you also need to sleep. Um, so we will try and make sure that everyone gets a good night's sleep. Portia is, of course, not needing to sleep. So we will keep her up. Um, and maybe she can help some of them with their homework in the morning. But while it's nighttime, we can focus a little bit on the garden and also just checking on the toddlers if they need it. Dogs can br also breathe and smell simultaneously. Interesting, I didn't know that. Um, so why don't you first fix this? Um, and then come check on the garden. We'll do some harvesting. You're off to bed. Are you in bed? Yes. And let's make sure that these kids get into bed. I'm gonna have to keep a close eye on them that they don't keep constantly wake up in the middle of the night. Yeah, she's in bed. She's in bed, okay. Um, good, I think. It's actually pretty late. It is 11 o'clock. I don't know if these kids are going to get a good night's sleep. I don't know if there's time for them to. Um, yeah, I don't really know. Uh... You're going to need to probably, wait, what are you doing? Uh, don't do that, come do shapes. <gasps> Was it the toddlers waking them up and I didn't notice? He's coming to wake him up, isn't he? Yeah. Hello, Michelle, you love my build of the house. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, hey Michelle, for being here. So nice to see you. Um, I hope you're having a great day and I'm so glad that you like the build. Um, I can give you a quick overview if you want because this is our 100 baby compound so it actually has multiple buildings so we've got like the toddler toddler cabin here um, and they've got everything they need to skill and potty train and get baths and eat in here um, we've got Portia, who is our baby mama. She's got her big house here. Um, the roof is glitched, but there is a roof piece on here as well. Um, oh, there it is. And this is where she sleeps um, and where her babies sleep. And then down here, we've got a nice, big, beautiful living space. Um, nice open concept with a little bathroom tucked in the corner. Um, we also have all our baby donors. So these have been the parent, the other parent of all our babies over time. And then we have our kids and teenager cabins that over here, this is where they all live. Um, so they're all similar, but they have different items and different color themes. And then we've got a nice big cabin, like rec area at the back here um, with some nice yoga outside. So yeah, it's like a big lodge. And this is our gardens. And that's the whole build. I'm glad you like it. Um, I hope you enjoyed my really quick tour. <laughs> okay, um, Portia. It's amazing. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. We had a lot of fun building it. We wanted to kind of make more of a compound style Oh, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the fam. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, we really wanted to kind of do something a little different, or I wanted to at least for the 100 baby challenge. Um, because it is a little strange that somebody would decide to try and have 100 babies, um, all with different um, parents. So I was kind of trying to think of, of what would motivate her to do that and <laughs> and my thoughts was that they could have this nice big compound that was um 
you know, a little bit off the grid kind of thing. I mean, they have power and everything, but it's a little bit off the beaten path. And she just like, she's so disillusioned from life that she wanted to build this sort of big home and just surround herself with kids and she doesn't need anything else or anyone else and I think to take this to the next step we kind of want to look into maybe potentially homeschooling the kids so they still have to get their A's to age up but we do it on the compound somehow so I'm gonna look into some mods and see if we can do that so there's a little bit of a story basically um, but the story right now is that our kids um, are not sleeping or we've been having a really hard time getting them to sleep and they're also all very sad <laughs> so that's been making it hard for us to get them to skill it's deaf unique because uh, you've never seen a whole compound like this everyone always just stays in a normal home and then moves around with new moms yeah that's what I've seen as well um, I kind of really liked yeah this vibe I thought it would be something different and something a little fun um, the only thing that does get annoying is uh, that Sims will like eat their meal in this house and then they'll go wash their dishes in that house and then they will go grab to this fridge so that they can cook in this kitchen. So that's the only thing that doesn't really work very well just with Sims and them not being very logical about how they use, use spaces. <laughs> but other than that, it's been really great. I really like it. It's been fun. So yeah, we like it. Portia likes it. She enjoys having all her kids um, on her compound and having built it up just the way she wanted. Um, right now we're trying to get her to do the best-selling author aspiration. She already finished one of the parenting ones, I think. Um, this would only be her second aspiration. Uh, I feel like we could probably do more with her just skilling up and everything, but um, it's a lot of work just to make sure that she's always pregnant. She's checking on both the toddlers. Um, we probably should do another potty train. Maybe we can potty train Tucker. just while, uh, while he's awake and doing well, and then we can potty train Trevor afterwards. Because I don't think either of them are able to potty on their own just yet. Look, <laughs> Seltzer is so close to aging up. So to age up toddlers to kids, we need level three in all skills. Seltzer is like so close to his movement, potty and thinking skill. So he will definitely age up tomorrow. Um, and then Trevor and Tucker are twins. Uh, you're going to have to get up and go to the washroom. And then I think we're going to... Do you have extra credit work? Yeah. Let's see. What's your school performance? Yeah, we're going to do the extra credit. It would be nice if we could get um, Ryan and Raven their A's and age them up as well, I think. So maybe Portia can come over here once she's done potty training Tucker um, and help him with his homework. So once you're done that, you can maybe continue doing Sim Shape. And Portia will go wherever it is that Raven decides to do her homework. Maybe let's try to get her to sit and do it here. And Portia, no, don't get, don't move. Oh, she's moving to the couch. That's okay. Portia, if you could come help her with her homework, that would be great. There we go. So you're good. They're both almost at thinking level three, which is really good actually. Um, I think once you're done, maybe come talk to this bear a little bit and then go to bed. Sit 
doors. <laughs> All right, once she's done with that, we need her to go back to sleep and maybe we can help Ryan do his extra credit work as well. Um, and how are you doing? You're doing pretty good. Let's get you up. Okay, I just really wanna make sure that these kids are in a good position and have a good day at school for once <laughs> because we have not been achieving that lately. Um, you can probably get ready to head to bed. Raven's done her extra, so let's get you up to do your extra credit work and Portia can help you. Take advantage of mom. Um, I just want to check. Can you go to potty on your own? No, you can't. Okay. Um, and Portia, you can come over here and help him with his extra credit work. That would be great. Um, right. So I need to reset her because for some reason, if they're sitting on a bed, they can't use that bathroom. Come take a bath here. It's just that path takes so long. Um, and then maybe grab some fruit salad and mm, watch the Dream Home Decorator Network. Get a little bit of that skilling in before you go to school. Um, and then you can clean, use the toilet, brush your teeth. Um, and then I think once we're done with Ryan's homework, we will potty train. Uh, is that Trevor? Yes, we will potty train Trevor. And then Trevor can go to bed as well. Actually, before you sleep, you can eat something. Um, and then, yes, Portia's gonna come potty train you. So, Ryan will be all set to go to school. Um, we will let Raven sleep. She can sleep until school, that's fine. Um, you can get out of the bath and I want to make sure that you get a little bit of fun before school. Okay, so all the kids then will be all set for school um, and we'll hopefully have good days today. At least I really want Raven and Ryan to get their A's. So they should be set up for that. Oh my gosh, Raven doesn't have good school performance. She didn't finish her extra credit. Why does it say it's only 75% done? We finished it, didn't we? Okay, can you wake up? Yeah, there's, there's no other homework for us to do. I'm not sure why it's not done. Um, did she get a special assignment and I just missed it? Um, no. Okay, I don't know why she didn't, her school is not finished. I'm pretty sure we finished her regular homework and her extra credit. Um, so hopefully if we take notes and stay focused in class, she can still get an A and she won't be behind Ryan because they are twins. So there, take notes. Um, you need to go to school as well. Okay. So they're all off to school. Trevor is potty trained. He's going to eat something and then we will put him to bed. And then all the toddlers are in good shape as well. Make sure that you're taking notes. And then Quincy. Quincy is so sad. Yeah, I don't know if we'll get her a before Friday, but, but we'll make sure she's taking notes and hopefully she'll get it as well. Fingers crossed.
perfect. Okay. So, um, that is where we are actually going to leave it today. We did a pretty good job, I would say. <laughs> I know with 100 Baby Challenge, we're just kind of often trucking through. Um, but I think that we made really good progress. We got, uh, we had babies 29 and 30 today. Um, Seltzer is for sure going to age up right away. As soon as he wakes up, we can just get him these last little bit of each of his skills and then he will age up. And hopefully at least the twins are able to also age up into teenagers when they get back from school. But we will save that for next time.